We have seen a number of stunning images brought on by the homeless crisis in Southern California, like people living in an abandoned tunnel in Los Feliz. Not far from there, a homeless encampment has been cleared off the street, with some people being moved indoors. But that hasn't stopped the controversy. I would assume for Rob Hayes shows us why. For nearly a year, the stretch of Barrendo Street near Hollywood Boulevard was a dystopian scar on its Los Feliz neighborhood. LAPD called the encampment a gang-run drug dealing hub. Residential security cameras catching gunshots when deals went south. But today, the encampments are gone. LA City Council member Nithya Raman tweeting that the people who had been living there were voluntarily moved indoors. That was Friday. By Saturday, people in the neighborhood installed these planters. The community together had come together with the lot owners here to put in a community garden. But now there's a move to have these planters hauled away. The city saying they blocked the walkway. And that move came just one day after these planters appeared. I think the, the hypocrisy is, is glaring. One resident confronted this worker from L.A. Sanitation Bureau who was there issuing a citation, saying the planters obstructed the sidewalk. Can't place personal property on the public right away. The uh, personal property has been there over the last year, and they said you cannot remove it without storing for 90 days. We reached out to L.A.'s Department of Public Works, which says right now the planters are not permitted. Quote, an application was received this week, but during the review process, which can sometimes be lengthy, the planters must be removed. But many of the people who live here are upset that it took almost a year to have the drug dealing encampment cleared, but just hours for the city to crack down on the planters, which they say take up considerably less space than the tarps and tents that were there previously and still allow enough space for people to get by. All they want is to be able to leave ADA access here so that anybody can pass, but also be able to plant something to have something beautiful here and have no more crime. Several of the residents here are working to recall Raman from office, blaming her for the extended encampment problem and saying many of the people who Raman says were voluntarily moved indoors are now just living on the other side of Hollywood Boulevard in a different council district. Raman's staff says any communication it receives about the planters are forwarded to the Sanitation Bureau. In Los Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.